Okay, Fiona, you gotta move. You're gonna get run over. Uh, uh. Huh? Okay. Hello? Oh! So, if this looks like I'm unboxing a Roborock S8 Ultra Pro, I might just very well be unboxing another Roborock S8 Ultra Pro. Don't go away. Hello everybody and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. So, I just shared a video with you about my Roborock S8 Ultra Pro. Told you how much we loved it and nothing there has changed. My wife and I... Uh, really love the robot vacuum but something happened as I guess you can imagine <laughs> uh, our robot died I, I don't know any other way to put it other than the, our robot died now I'm not the kind of guy who holds a malfunction against a company because anybody can get a clinker yeah any anybody anybody can get a clinker so um especially with something high tech like this this is really really high tech stuff and it's easy to one, one little thing and and it's dead so i i would never hold that against rubble rock but that's not the whole story. And that's why I'm making a whole nother video because otherwise I, I wouldn't have even made another video. It didn't go so well. Okay, so here's how this all went down. And that's what this video is all about. First of all, Siri, turn on the surgery lights. There we go. All right. So first of all, let me tell you what happened. We're only a couple weeks in, and my wife says, hey, the robot said something weird. Something like a, a malfunction or something like that. So the next time it ran, I listened to it, and sure enough, it was saying, internal error, reset the robot. Well, I don't want to do that. Uh, if you reset the robot, you lose all your maps, you uh, lose your programs. It just was a hassle I didn't want to do. Um, so I, I waited to see what was going on, and it just kept saying that over and over and over again. Internal error, internal error, internal error, internal error. I was like, okay, well, I'm going to have to reset it. So I reset it. I went through all the steps to reset it. And... Um, Fired it up, sent it out on a, a cleaning mission. Internal error, reset the robot. I was like, oh man, you're kidding me. So about the time that that was happening, I noticed that I was actually getting notifications from the robot on my phone. And it was telling me that there was a problem and that... Um, the side brush was malfunctioning. And so I sent it out on a clean mission and watched it go by, and sure enough, the side brush was not spinning. I was like, well, this sucks. So we ended up having to reach out to Roborock. And here is where the fun began. I call Roborock and tell him what's going on, and, and while we're on the phone... Um, 
they're like, okay, well, we'll need a picture of the notifications or some video clips, and we'll need the serial number, and blah, 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 blah. So while on the phone, I actually sent them all that information. He goes, okay, great. Um, yeah, this is a brand new unit, so we can just replace it with a brand new unit instead of uh, going through our repair service. I was like, okay, cool. He goes, all right, so what we need you to do is we need you, we're going to send you a shipping label and we need you to send it back to us and then we'll send you a replacement. And I said, well, what? What? Wait, what? What? What did you just say? He said, yeah, we'll send you a, a, a mailing label and send it back and then we'll replace it. And I said, well, what about a box? I've had this thing for two weeks. We just got rid of the box. Like, seriously, we got rid of the box like two days before this. He goes, no, you'll, you'll have to package it up yourself and, and send it yourself. I was like, you're kidding me, right? I said, well, aren't you going to just send me out a replacement immediately? And then, then I can wait for it to get here, take it out, and then I can put mine in that box. Oh, no, no, no. We have to get this one first before we'll send out the replacement. Oh, and by the way, you can't just send this, the robot, okay? You gotta send the big dock too. So see this box? This is what I needed to send it back. So I went out hunting for, um, this was what was broken, the side brush. So I went out hunting for a box, couldn't find anything. Do you want something? No. Oh. So my wife is uh, decorating for Halloween, and so she's right down here. Uh, she's as miffed as I am. So I went out hunting for a box, and I couldn't find a box. And in the meantime, I'm waiting for him to send me the return shipping label. Day goes by. The next day, the next day, the next day, and after about four days, I call, I call him and said, or I wrote to him and said, where's the shipping label? Oh, uh, we'll, we'll get that out to you. I said, well, it's been four days. He goes, okay, well, you'll have it absolutely positively by today. We're going to expedite this. You're going to have it today. The whole day went by, I didn't get it. I got it the next day. I'm starting to be a little mad. I spent a lot of money on this thing, and I'm, I'm starting to get PO'd, all right? So I finally got the shipping label, and with the shipping label came this big, giant list describing all of the rules that it would take to return this. And in big, bold letters, um, if it's damaged in shipping, we are not responsible. And I'm like, well, great, because I don't have a box that fits this. This is just awful. So I, uh, I give up. I take the shipping label, I take the robot, I take the dock, and I drive over to the UPS store, and I throw it all on the counter and said, package it and ship it, I'll pay the difference. So I had to shell out $30 to have them box it up and put the label on it and send it off. Took, it went out on a Thursday. They didn't get it until Monday, so it took like almost a whole week. <sighs> so, you know, we're, we're like two weeks into this already. So now, they get it on a Monday, and I'm watching for any, any movement, any tracking numbers, anything, any communications at all, nothing. Nothing at all. Along comes the next day, nothing. And then the next day, nothing. So on the third day, I reached out to him, I said, why haven't you sent my replacement yet? 
oh, well, you know, they, they got to check it in. And here's, the, this is their favorite line. Please wait with patience. Please wait with patience. I have been. I've, our patience was at an end. For a really, really expensive product, I was really, really, really not happy with the way I was being treated at this point. So, no tracking number that day or the next day. I finally get a tracking number the day after that. And, oh, I, I didn't even mention this. After you ship this thing, you, you have to call them and let them know the tracking number and that you shipped it or when it gets there, they're not going to accept it. Because they have this whole big long laundry list of rules that you had to follow for the return. So all told, this took over three weeks of being without my vacuum in what I would classify as the absolute worst customer service and support experience of my life. It's so bad that I'm making another video here to rescind my recommendation of this. Look, the robot's fantastic and we still love it. But if the price is that kind of service, I'm out. I'm just out. Especially because Eufy makes a great, by all measures, everything I've heard, Eufy makes a great competitor to this. And I don't know if they would treat you as crappy as Roborock did, but we know Roborock is going to just rake you over the coals. So I wouldn't even consider them. I would, I would go to Eufy. Um, I already bought this, so I'm kind of forced to live with it. But, uh, you know, it just, uh, it really, really was such bad service. I, I can't tell you how unhappy we were about the whole thing. Uh, now, I will say, I'll give them a little credit here, uh, more for FedEx than anything. This went out, I got the tracking number the day before yesterday in the at late evening, and today is Saturday, and we got the Roborock. We got it in less than, less than three days, two and a half days. So we got the replacement pretty quick once it happened, but we've been waiting for a very long time to get this back. And when you pay that much money for something, you kind of have a, a, a notion of what the standards should be. And Roborock does not understand that at all. This was absolutely the worst support I've ever seen. And <coughs> Yuffie, listen, this is a golden opportunity for you. Send me a vacuum and I'll review it and I'll let my, my viewers know uh, about your product. I don't really need a vacuum, but this is a golden opportunity to put yourself right up against Robo Rock because uh, I, I cannot tell any of my viewers to support Robo Rock and buy this product. I just can't. Not not after this experience. I, I would not voluntarily put anybody through this. So uh, yeah, um, look. Here's what it comes down to. Yuffie is an unknown. Robo Robo Rock is a known. We know we love the robot, but we also know that they don't know squat about customer service. So why not go with Eufy and at least have a chance that they're gonna back up their product. Now I can tell you a couple things. We are certainly not gonna throw out our box this time because I don't trust Robo Rock as far as I can throw them or as far as I can throw this, this robot. 
so we're not throwing out the box. And I swear, I swear by Sonny Jesus that if if something goes wrong with this and I have to go through that again, I am going to lose it. I am absolutely going to lose it. Worst experience ever. Worst experience ever. And I do not want to be a party to that again. Um, anyhow, so that's what's going on. Um, this has nothing to do with the fact that it broke. I don't mind that it broke. That's not how you treat customers of a very high-end and expensive product. That's just not how you do it. And I, I, I don't know. This, this was one of the worst uh, support experiences of my life. So anyhow, there it is, the new RoboRock S8 Ultra Pro. Cannot and will not recommend this to anybody. I would tell you, run, run away, run away screaming. If you want a vac similar to this, check out Yuffie's offerings. And all I know is what I've seen on other channels about the Yuffie, but that's how bad the service was. All right. I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a giant thumbs up, click subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love to hear from you guys. Um, but yeah, that's, that's going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing set up, filled up, and running again. Uh, we'll be glad to have it back, but not glad that we still have RoboRock in our lives. All right, I hope the rest of your day is amazing, and I hope any surprises that come your way are good ones. Until next time, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions saying, be good.